Pennsylvania's state system of higher education, 14 universities, infinite opportunities. This week, we'll explore the opportunities available at East Stroudsburg University. First, we'll hear from University President Marsha Welsh. Hello, I'm Frank Brogan, the Chancellor of the Pennsylvania System of Higher Education. 14 world-class universities scattered around the Commonwealth who for years have provided great opportunities to young men and young women who go on then to become the bedrock of workforce of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. I have with me a special guest, Dr. Marsha Welsh, who is the president of one of our 14 universities, East Stroudsburg University. Dr. Welsh has an illustrious career, longtime member of the higher education community with undergraduate degrees in the sciences, graduate degrees in anatomy, and even a PhD in anatomy. So she is well-schooled and a seasoned veteran in the world of higher education. Welcome, Dr. Welsh. We're delighted to have you with us. I'm delighted to be here. Thank you. Dr. Welsh, there's been an amazing number of changes taking place at East Stroudsburg as all of our universities are working together to try to develop where each of those and then collectively our system will head over the next 20 years. Can you tell us a little bit about East Stroudsburg, uh, how long it's been around, some of its priorities, and then talk a little bit about where East Stroudsburg vision will take it over the years to come. Okay, uh, East Strasburg University is in a gateway location. It couldn't be better. We're sitting in the heart of the Pocono Mountains. We are totally surrounded by wonderful recreational opportunities, skiing, snowboarding, any kind of water activity. Um, I know you've been to our, our fabulous water parks and uh, after the next one is completed, we will be the water park capital of the East Coast. But you can also go canoeing down the Delaware, play around a golf, and, and it's just a lovely place to be with so many resorts. But we're also located 74 miles from Midtown Manhattan, 85 miles from downtown Philadelphia, and we're nestled between uh, Lehigh Valley with Allentown and Bethlehem, which are two very vibrant communities. And then just north of us, we have Scranton and Wilkesbury. So tremendous opportunities for our students, whether they want to have opportunities for an internship in a resort or actually want an internship down on Wall Street or up in Scranton. So tremendous, tremendous opportunities. Well, I can attest to how beautiful it is. And I can attest to those great water parks that are uh, up there in the Pocono Mountains. Many videos, videos of those, did you? They are fantastic. Um, no videos exist to my knowledge. Okay. Hey, uh, East Strasburg is also well known for so long as uh, a jump off point in the world of education for it teachers, is. for the Commonwealth, for the country, and even the world. You've been doing a great deal of work in your uh, College of Education. Tell us a little bit about some of the changes that you're making there. Well, our College of Education this year is celebrating its 15th year of PDS partnerships with schools all the way from Bethlehem to Mount Pocono. Um, the partnerships allow our students their freshman year. Our teacher candidates are in the schools working with teachers and it's a great partnership between the teachers in the schools, the faculty and the students to ensure that our students are very well prepared when they graduate with their teacher certificate. And it's interesting, we've recently been getting students our students have been getting jobs simply with phone interviews. Uh, they just they, they understand the maturity of the students, the experiences they've had, and they get on-the-spot jobs. So it's really a fabulous program for them. Well, as a, a member of the education class myself, uh, having gone to a college of education in Ohio, uh, I've watched the Commonwealth, as we all have, begin to change in terms of the demographic. Right now, of course, there aren't as many school-age children moving through the pre-K through 12 system in the Commonwealth. But that's also required, and I think our universities, which have turned out teachers for so long in our state university system, have adopted the need to begin to refocus and reorganize our efforts to make sure that we're turning out world-class teachers for the 21st century. And I know East Strasburg is a major player in that regard. Absolutely, and our students, with, with 17 PDS schools, there are 15 states in the nation that will only hire students trained in PDS schools. and so. Even though our students may not this year be able to work in Pennsylvania, they are continuing, continuing to get experiences and can work in our, get jobs immediately in neighboring states and then they are experienced teachers and Pennsylvania wants them back. Tell us a little bit about some of your other academic programs. You've got some digital media programs, technology programs. We, have, uh, we do a lot with technology, but uh, digital media 
uh, digital media technology has just merged into the College of Business and Management because they feel it's a better match for them. They do amazing things. I, I had our students do our holiday video. Our students are doing commercials for us. They really are talented students that are top, top um, state of the art. And they're really doing great things. We also do quite a bit with GIS. Our geography department just merged with our history department, keeping GIS as a strong minor an interdisciplinary minor that can work with many of our majors uh, for GIS as a part of it, whether it's economics, history, hotel, restaurant, tourism management. Uh, they really, it really is compatible with so many majors for our students today. And with your background in health, I know you're doing work in uh, public health research and innovation. Absolutely. Tell us about that. We you? have a very strong College of Health Sciences and our health studies department with our public health uh, major has been doing uh, lion's share of the work for that college. They actually have, let me get it straight, it's the Institute of Public Health Research and Innovation. And they are out in the community partnering with all of our healthcare systems to work to find solutions for healthcare problems in our community. One of the strongest, one of the first things they did, and a strong program for us, we got external funding and have a partnership with the Commonwealth Medical College. We offer the public health degree, the master's in public health degree, they offer the MD and their students graduate with an MD, MPH. And it's really a, a fabulous opportunity for those students. Well, major fully area, funded. Uh, fully funded, fully music funded. to my ears. Uh, one of the major priorities that we've taken on these days in our system, as you know better than most, is trying to make certain that our degrees translate to an opportunity for our graduates to move into ultimately the world of work and secure for themselves and their family uh, a great job and a great quality of life. And you're doing so many innovative things in that regard at East Stroudsburg. Among them, you're doing work in 3D digital. How's that That's work? Right. Uh, it's fabulous. I came to East Stroudsburg with uh, significant knowledge in 3D design and additive manufacturing from prior experiences, and so I asked to see our 3D printers. We didn't have any. Now we have state-of-the-art laboratory. Uh, it's called G3D, G3 Design. Uh, we have printers, scanners, uh, 3D software, laser cutters, everything that you could possibly need to develop a career in 3D printing. And 3D printing isn't just art and design. It isn't just jewelry making. I think that most people now know your diamond ring probably was 3D design. Uh, but it's also making chocolates for a wedding cake. It's making uh, medical prostheses. It's, it is a job for anybody. And we also have a business accelerator in our innovation center we have some businesses now doing additive manufacturing and our students are able to partner with these entrepreneurs and learn how to build their own business and use 3D printing in multiple ways. And it's been a tremendous partnership. Well, I know how proud you are of your faculty and student body at East Stroudsburg and well you should be. Absolutely. Uh, and you are doing some remarkable reorganizational and, and strategic changes for the university and its future. You're a complement to the system. Tell us some of the challenges that East Stroudsburg, like so many of our universities in higher ed, are facing these days. Well, obviously we have fiscal challenges like everyone else in higher education these days, but we're trying to deal with it by uh, really evaluating all of our academic programs. If they are no longer strong programs or no longer really needed, maybe that uh, program is offered down the, down the road at another university. We need to be much more strategic in what we offer. We need to be sure that students get experiential learning opportunities in their majors. So if those opportunities aren't available, maybe we need to, to reinvest uh, some of our, our dollars into programs that really are high demand for our community, for the region in which we live, and, and be sure that we're serving the students. Well, as I mentioned, a major area of emphasis for us is not only each university looking and examining its academic program and how it will move forward for the next 20 years, but how we as 14 universities serving over 110,000 students will align that curriculum to make sure that wherever you go in one of the uh, state-owned universities, which is 
the Pennsylvania system of higher education that you can ultimately leave having had an incredible world-class experience but also take with you that marvelously important degree and the opportunity then to take it to the next level. So I want to thank you for the work that you do at East Stroudsburg, Dr. Welsh, and through you, all the people at East Stroudsburg, you're a very important part of what makes our state university system tick. And thank you so much for being with us. You're very welcome. Coming up next, explore more opportunities offered at East Stroudsburg University. Invest in me. 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 I'll be your future public servant. I'll be your future advertising executive. I'll be your future accountant. I will be your future motivational speaker. I'll be your future lawmaker. I will be your future teacher. Invest in me. I'll be your future videographer. Welcome back to Infinite Opportunities. Next, we'll meet two East Stroudsburg alumni to find out how they joined together to start a business with a new twist on an old distribution method. East Stroudsburg has been instrumental in really everything that's happened since I left East Stroudsburg. Surrounding myself with great people really uh, made me want to be a better person. And that was all a result from being in East Stroudsburg. Probably wouldn't have done this business if it wasn't for Len, and I met Len at East Stroudsburg. He makes me a better person every day. We always remain friends. Uh, we, we, we started becoming friends in 1991. He, he came to school. Uh, I graduated in 94. I believe he graduated in 95. We had the same social group. All our friends from East Stroudsburg lived in the Bucks County, Philadelphia area. So on weekends, we would all get together. And, and throughout that process of just on weekends and, and hanging out and talking, that's when the, the process of talking about let's go in our own business uh, really happened. Philly Pretzel Factory started in May of 1998. And uh, the original idea started back in uh, East Strasburg University at our uh, fraternity house, Phi Sigma Kappa. And uh, he used to sell them on the corner. My next door neighbor owned a pretzel bakery. And when I was 11 years old, I was in the backyard um, kicking a soccer ball around and uh, he had gotten stuck with a thousand pretzels that day. He asked me what I was doing that day. Uh, I sold pretzels that day, um, did $200 in sales. I got 100, he, he got 100. And um, it slowly developed into an idea, um, you know, over years. We took, we took a shot, and uh, it's been a good uh, run so far. Uh, our first day we opened up, there was a line at the door. People were walking by, and they, they were really just shocked the, the value that we were giving and the fresh product. We basically have a slogan saying, hot out of the oven. That's our slogan for Philly Pretzel Factory. And they were getting them hot out of the oven. One is because we couldn't keep up, so they were getting them fresh. Um, so they, they were just amazed with the price point and that it was fresh and it was just Dan and I. So they saw two young guys, we were in our early 20s, right out of college, out of Stroudsburg, and they saw that we were just really, really hustling um, and they saw that we could keep up. So it was a good opportunity to show the hard work, the good product and the price point. That's what really just propelled us to a different level. Yeah, if I'd give advice to people going to East Stroudsburg University in the business department and what they should maybe do while they're at school is a couple things is, I would really look at school as what it is. Sometimes I think we go through college and we just are going through the motions of going through college. It's really preparing us for your future endeavors. Sometimes, you know, the easier class maybe here or there isn't, the, you gotta really think what you want out of life and pick the classes. Obviously it's business, but try to pick the classes that are gonna benefit you for the long run. My advice to all, all students and all grads uh, and today would be um, get outside your comfort zone. Um, if, you, if, you want, if you're scared to make a mistake, um, that's pretty much going to be your biggest failure in life. Understand, you got to make the mistakes to learn. You learn more from mistakes uh, than anything in life. And uh, don't be afraid to fail because that's where that's the people that fail, fail, and they keep getting up and trying and trying. They're the successful ones. The ones that fail once and they give up, um, you know, they're, they're going to struggle in the business world. 
The days of East Stroudsburg are still my fondest days. They really, you know, it gives me goosebumps to even talk about the school because it's such an exciting point in my life. Um, closest friends still to this day are all from East Stroudsburg, so it really made me who I am today. So I'm very thankful for it. In 1934, 22 people started a financial cooperative. PSECU was born out of necessity, out of a need to provide service to people who needed it most. Since 2000, we've been forging strong relationships with educational partners across Pennsylvania, making strategic investments that benefit all members, including students, faculty, and staff, and alumni at over 20 university and college locations across Pennsylvania. Learn more about what we offer students at pscu.com slash students. Welcome back to Infinite Opportunities. Next, we'll discover how East Stroudsburg University students come together to appreciate their diversity. Students want to talk about race, but they don't know how. Students want to talk about diversity, but they don't know where. So the Race Relations Projects bring students together in a neutral environment where they can talk about race, ethnicity, and culture. The Race Relations Project is an hour-long conversation, which is peer facilitated, and it's about 8 to 15 students per session. It's a conversation and an opportunity to explore different cultural backgrounds and life experiences amongst students. The mission of the Race Relations Project is essentially to get students to talk about the kind of things that they find difficult to talk about. We make it a comfortable and safe environment. Um, everything that's said in the session is confidential and there's a, a non-judgmental um, zone. And it's really important because we know that it is a sensitive topic and we want everybody to feel comfortable. ESU is more diverse than ever. What the Race Relations Project does is it unlocks the educational value of diversity by allowing students to talk openly about it in a supporting environment. The conversations vary. Um, obviously we talk about race, but we also talk about things that fall under the umbrella of race relations, whether that's the definition of ethnicity, we talk about cultural appropriation, we talk about privilege, and we also talk about stereotypes and interracial dating. The Race Relations Project is based on the idea that if students can communicate openly and freely in an environment where they feel in control, that they'll be able to have genuine communication. What we hope that students will learn from the Race Relations Project is a kind of emotional growth, an appreciation to not just learn intellectually, but also to grow emotionally. Uh, I've noticed oftentimes that they are more confidently talking about race relations because they were given an opportunity where they were in the driver's seats and nobody told them how to think. Race relations is such a key part in today's society and regardless of what field you enter, you enter, you're always gonna be working with different people, whether that's different ages, different ethnic backgrounds, Diversity is so broad. We hope that students who've participated in the race relations projects become more civil, become more open, become able to communicate better. So we believe the race relations project is important for democracy and civility. Discover the years that will change the rest of your life. Make East Stroudsburg University your new home. Come to a place that is home to different backgrounds, stories, and cultures that make us all unique. Embrace the chance to be a better friend, a better leader, a better you. Ignite your passions. Put your imagination to work in theater and the arts. Find victory. Shatter records. Chase your dreams. Be a warrior. Use your voice and share your visions. Create new ideas. Find professors and friends who will believe in you when you don't believe in yourself. Make the most of your ESU journey. Discover who you are and how you can make a difference. Discover ESU. Welcome back to Infinite Opportunities. Next, we'll see how one East Stroudsburg University professor is preserving nature for future generations through new 3D art techniques.
college art majors added another list this month criticizing their career choice. The arts took a hard hit in the Georgetown University Center on Education in the Workforces study with the study proving a 6.7% unemployment rate. However, college students and professors are defying such lists using new technology that has been really on the rise the last five years. 3D printing, which has been around since the 1970s, has transitioned from industrial practices to consumer markets. Darlene Ferris Labar, Associate Professor of Art and Design at East Strasburg University of Pennsylvania, is a testament to how this technology is rising. 3D printing has allowed her the opportunity to showcase her art around the world. I think that, you know, I've seen too many artists with great talent and wonderful creativity to give to the world uh, that never take it um, a little beyond. And so I think 3D printing will open the doors for many creative people. The most popular at the moment is the additive manufacturing process where you take a material such as plastic and you put it up through the machine, come out through a hot nozzle that heats the plastic up to a point that the plastic becomes liquid and then it comes out onto a platform and then builds up layer by layer to create a wall um, into a form. Ferris Labar used her talent along with the printing labs at East Strasburg University of Pennsylvania to produce her work and it paid dividends. I had submitted my work uh, to 3D print show to be hopefully represented in, in one of their exhibitions. I heard back from them and I am excited to say that it will be then traveling on their tour. Uh, it will be going to uh, places like Dubai, uh, London, Madrid, Paris, uh, California, and of course New York City. With her work, Ferris Labar credits 3D printing for allowing her to not only express herself, but also help others by preserving plants and flowers that may not exist in the future. 3D printing has given me this chance to do something I've always wanted to do. I have always had a fascination and respect for the vulnerable, beautiful little species that you know, are, are throughout our protected land and open space. Now people can have a documentation of uh, plants and flowers that may one day not be around. Uh, so it kind of preserves something that is very beautiful to me. Despite the uphill climb in terms of employment rates and studies regarding the College of Arts, Ferris Labar continues to push her students. I tell my students to not give up. Um, I think that failure is going to come, you know, in their careers. I think endurance is success when it comes to being a, a great artist and having a great career. We make about 45 million pounds of chips in a quarter. That equates to about 200 million pounds of potatoes, which is quite a few. What's interesting with M&T is, is they're a small town bank, and as we've grown, they've also grown with us. They've got the resources that you would need in order to go big, but they also have that friendly local community feel so that it makes it seem easier than it probably is. What is a warrior? At East Strasburg University, it's someone who rises above the rest. A warrior is knowledgeable, a critical thinker, a planner, a designer, an engineer, an artist, a writer, and a leader. A warrior is someone who is strong, adventurous, and engaged in their surroundings. You could be a warrior. Join us at East Strasburg University and get an outstanding, affordable, accessible education coupled with real-world experiences such as internships, clinical assignments, community service, and student teaching. There's also ESU's Innovation Center, which offers students entrepreneurial opportunities that extend well beyond ESU's campus into the regional, national, and global markets. Why wait? Check out ESU's nearly 60 undergraduate programs and more than 20 graduate degree programs and learn why being a warrior is so much more than you'd ever imagine. Call us today to set up an appointment with an admissions counselor or to take a tour. Make East Stroudsburg University your first choice and catch the warrior spirit today. Welcome back to Infinite Opportunities. Next, we'll find out how East Stroudsburg University and local businesses have grown together over time. I think that a university 
in a community needs to be a partner with that community. We need to be a part of the economic development of the region in which we live. We have a role to play and, and our role needs to be good neighbors, uh, helping develop the arts, helping to develop the economy. Um, I think that there are so many ways that a university needs to give uh, back to the community and be a partner with the community. East Stroudsburg University and Santa Fe Pasteur have been longtime community partners um, and there's a number of ways that that partnership is realized. Uh, speaking a little more broadly, both institutions have an interest in the holistic well-being of the community at large and so there are a number of ways that we work together as partners to help realize that goal. We're very fortunate to have a lot of faculty who are connected with the East Strasburg region, with the Pocono region, and do a lot uh, with the environment, with the arts, um, and it, with the economy. So we are very thankful to ESU for taking a leadership role in the area of economic de development. It's a very important issue for us. It's something that needs to be continually addressed. We have four goals in our strategic plan. One is putting students first in everything we say and do. Um, making sure our faculty are innovative and creative in the classroom, uh, building community, which is not just a community on campus, but our campus being involved in the local community and working with the community uh, as one. And then the fourth goal is to be an innovative and entrepreneurial campus. And I really believe that higher education is the engine that drives economic development because we're educating the employees, the leaders of the future, that really make or break the success of a company. With this introduction of innovation and entrepreneurship, we're now providing our students with the opportunities to create the companies that are creating the jobs. I felt it was very important that East Strasburg University be an economic driver for our region. And every dollar we get from the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, we give back over $14 uh, economically, and so we really are quite a treasure uh, for the Commonwealth and for our region. The dynamics of our effectiveness really are based on our strategic partnerships, and that has been historical. It's very interesting when you look at the academic programs that we're providing at East Strasburg University and their direct impact into the economic footprint of our region, and clearly having those collaborations leverage, leverage opportunities for employment for research, for contracts, for services, and to really provide a dynamic economic infrastructure in our region. Come back next week to learn more of the infinite opportunities at the state system's 14 universities, or visit us online.